you think that's something, wait until you see my cousin, Lady Edwina. See? What'd they tell you? Wow! Uncle Randall. Auntie Marlena. How nice to see you both again. Welcome, Edwina. It's good to have you back in Eternos. I really should have visited before, but with all the parties I have to attend, I can hardly get away. You remember Adam, of course. Can this really be little Adam? Oh, just look at the way you've grown. I swear, if we weren't cousins... <laughs> Edwina, let me present Orko, our resident magician. Oh. <laughs> and our men at arms, Duncan. And his daughter, Captain Teela. How do you do? Oh, well, I'd love to stay and chat with the help. But I'm really rather tired. The help? Why? If you'd be kind enough to show me to my room, Adam. Of course. <laughs> Good day, Your Majesties. Men at arms. A tippy. That's Tila. She may be the king's niece, but I've never met a ruder, more arrogant, sweeter, and lovelier, and prettier. Oh, come on, Orko. You can't be serious. I am serious. I think she's beautiful. <laughs> But I'm afraid I didn't bring anything uh, um, suitable to wear with it. Thanks anyway, Porco. It's Orco. Oh, Orco. Hey, take it easy, little buddy. If I wasn't a poor little nobody, I could give her a real gift. Then she really liked me. Orko, you can't buy a friend. Not a real one, at least. Sure, just be yourself, old pal. You've got a lot going for you. Hello, everyone. You may not know it, Edwina, but you're in the presence of a hero. Huh? What hero? Oh, really? Yep. Years ago, Orko saved my life. It happened in the season of storms. Back when I was a kid, Cringer and I were out playing that day and had wandered far from the palace. Suddenly, a storm broke loose and we found ourselves lost in the tar swamps. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, don't worry, Cringer. We'll be all right. But we weren't the only ones in the swamp that day. Somehow, the storm's incredible power had opened a temporary doorway which pulled Orko out of his world and stranded him on ours. Help! Help! Uh-oh! They're in trouble! Hang on, kid! I'll save you! Oh, Magic Medallion, hear my command and give these two a helping hand! Because of his bravery, we adopted Orko and made him a member of the royal court. And that's how my little friend here became a hero. Could that charm you lost really work magic? Oh, sure. My medallion can conjure up just about anything. It's too bad you don't have it now. Hmm. Orko! Hmm, it's not like...
like Orko to miss breakfast. I don't think he's been here all night. Look, his bed hasn't been slept in. Yesterday he was talking about the magic medallion he lost in the tar swamp. Oh, you don't think he really... I'm afraid so. And we'd better find him before he gets there. I wish up a great present for Edwina. I seem to remember it was right around here. <sighs> What's that? Beastman! Get over here, you furry fool! You'll soon have need of your special <laughs> talents. Have the primeval potion? Right here. With this magic brew, I can bring back any of the prehistoric monsters that perished in this swamp, and I'll use those monsters in my conquest of Palace Eternia. The palace? Oh no! I gotta warn them! Yikes! <laughs> Who's there? It's the king's fool, Orko. Leave this to me. Powers of darkness. Make wings appear and fly that sprite back over here! Hey! Well, well, a little visitor. <laughs> you big bully! You'll never get away with this! We'll stop you! Oh, really? Show the little room what we have planned for He Man Evelyn. Look at what's coming now! Men, use your mental power to tame and command that creature! There! Tame as a chicken! Good! Now to take the palace! Keepers. It's a good thing Adam decided not to come. I know he means well, but his bumbling would only get in the way. Well, if he can contact He-Man for us, he'll be doing more than his share. By the power of Grey Sky. Flew down to help. It's a good thing you were nearby, Stratos. I'd still like to know where those monsters came from. I don't know, but I'll bet you anything Skeletor is mixed up in this. 
right, you fool. Skeletor. Let Orko go or I'll... This troublesome traveling is the least of your worries. Look! Dracodon. A hungry Dracodon. And we're taking him to lunch at the palace. Not if we stop you first. I'm sorry, He-Man, but you weren't invited. <laughs> Let's go. Here comes the other one. me if you can, you flying freak! He won't be going anywhere for a while. Thanks, Stratos. Now, let's get back to the others. <laughs> Could you fly Tila and Man at Arms back to the palace? Sure, no problem. Good. We've got to catch up with Skeletor and his monster. And they have a big head start. Edwina? Oh, Uncle Randor. Have you been down here all this time, girl? Your aunt and I have missed you. I'm sorry, Uncle, but you have such lovely things. These gaudy trinkets? Come, I'll show you some real sights. If you insist. Oh! What's happening? A Dracodon! They've been extinct for ages. Greetings, King Randor. Unless you'd like my pet here to demolish the palace, You'll surrender to me immediately. My dear, in order to protect you and the kingdom, I must agree. Come on. 
To our conquest, you mean. Can we join the party? Ah, man of arms! Tila! Get them, you fools! As you wish. It's just you against us, Skeletor. Fool! Did you think I'd face you myself? You have to defeat my head first! I don't see anything. It's my magic medallion. It must have stuck to the monster when he came out of the swamp. Orko, wait, come back. Come on now. Gotta get you loose. Oh, I wish you'd come out. Hey, it worked. Orko. We'll keep the monster busy while you think up a spell to send it back. I think you bit off more than you can chew this time. Then again, maybe you didn't. magic charm? Uh, yeah, but right now I have to use it to save our friends. Who cares about them? Wish us away from this awful place. I couldn't do that. Oh, think of all the gold and jewels we could have. We could be rich without a care in the world. And I'd be your very best friend. <sighs> no, my friends were right. You don't like me. You only like the things this medallion can do. Oh, I wish none of this had ever happened. Orko, you are very brave using your magic medallion to save us. I'm sorry you had to lose your wonderful amulet. But we both thank you for what you did. Ah, uh, twerk nothing. But you, Lady Edwina, have behaved in a shameful manner. Until you mend your rude and selfish ways, you are no longer welcome here. Ah, uh, Lady Edwina. I know we didn't get along, but I'd like to give you this to remember me by. Well... At least someone still appreciates me. I thought Orko learned you can't buy friends with presents. Actually, I think that's a lesson Orko will never forget. <laughs> Today's story was about something more precious, more valuable than gold or silver. It's called friendship. Orko learned that friendship can't be bought. Giving somebody a present may get that person to act as if he or she is your friend, but don't be fooled. A real friend is someone who likes you for yourself, not your presence. So don't try to buy friendship. Just be yourself and treat others with honesty and respect. And then you'll know the friends you make will be real ones.